Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with a short, hopefully short, lecture video. I apologize, sometimes I do have a tendency to drone on in some of these videos, so I'll try to keep this brief. Uh, the purpose here is to discuss the critical thinking essay, which is due Sunday, end of day. Um, I'm sure everybody has um, seen the changes in the syllabus and the schedule on uh, looking at the discussion boards that are going to be um, taking place uh, instead of reading notes uh, for the rest of this semester. So as I click into the discussion board, there are two threads. I've created the threads and all you have to do is just click reply to um, post. So um, here is the Lukianoff and Heights uh, thread about coddling the American mind. And also here is the twangy on smartphones. As you can see, several students have posted their initial um, responses there, their initial posts, and some have even commented. So um, be sure to take advantage of the discussion board and the points there to talk about uh, both of those readings. Um, once again, if I get into the course units here, we have the critical thinking and um, smartphone and coddling unit. I have all the copies of the articles here. Uh, I know I did pass those out Friday in class. If you are not there, um, you can find them and read them um, from the PDFs attached. Also, I have uh, uploaded The Art of Summarizing, uh, an excellent uh, resource to um, really kind of a little instruction on how to summarize and go about summarizing. I know there are some short summaries in this, but it's something you may want to use in the future. So let me talk a little bit about the critical thinking essay. Uh, so as you work through the discussion board posts and you dig into the uh, two articles, um, I'm looking for an essay to accomplish the following. It is three to four pages, 1,000 to 1,250 words. Uh, continuing the conversation about the current state of Gen Z and the hope for the future. Your essay should accomplish the following. Write a short summary capturing the main points of both articles. This is your introduction. I'm looking for two short summaries, one for each uh, of the articles. How you open, what you open with is entirely up to you, but I'm not looking for some abstract introduction here. Um, the purpose of this assignment is to demonstrate to me your summarizing skills um, to open the essay. Um, I don't want to slog through an introduction. Um, so however you transition between the two, uh, you will find as you work through the discussion board posts and reading the articles that while the uh, content um, talks about two distinctly different topics, there are quite a few similarities between um, Twangy's article and Lukianoff and Heights um, article. In fact, in their books, they do refer to each other's work. So there is a connection there. So after you write a short summary, I want you to respond to both articles and their arguments. Do you agree, disagree, and tell me why? Even use um, uh, you know, quotes or information from the articles to support your thinking. And let me be clear here this is a response portion of the rest of the essay uh, I want to know what you think what do you think about what they're talking about their topics um, do you I mean there's many um, topics in both articles that you can agree or disagree with All right so um, I say here review your class notes obviously there are no class notes your response can answer some of the questions we discussed in class just refer to the discussion boards then for some ideas and provide support for critical thinking from the articles. And then just some sort of a conclusion should be uh, added at the end, wrap it all up. Outside sources are not required. I prefer you not to use them, but if you choose to integrate outside information, you might cite both in text and a works cited page. The critical thinking essay should follow MLA guidelines as stated in the syllabus. You do not have to cite, uh, do a works cited page for the two articles here because they are the subject of this assignment. Um, however, let me know who the speaker is when you are referring to um, 
in your essay I want to see some in-text citation if you're drawing from uh, those articles for your support so this critical thinking essay is worth up to 200 points I th believe I demonstrated how to submit this uh, from the drive account okay um, in um, my previous screencast video you can find the drive folder by clicking here it'll take you right to the critical thinking drive folder in the drive folder I have included a brief PowerPoint that actually I would have I would have gone through in class had we had class so um, if you would like to take a look at some of the slides here you are more than welcome in the twangy article she does refer to uh, images and pictures from a roller rink um, I have found those particular images uh, online. I'm well aware because I have read Twangy's book and these are the images from her book. And you will find also a TEDx presentation by Dr. Twangy and a YouTube clip of, um, of a Bill Maher episode where I believe uh, Lukianoff or Height, which one I can't remember, um, actually made an appearance and they talk about that. It's rather entertaining. So that you can use um, also in th your thinking and responding. If you have any questions about uh, the essay, send me an email. Hopefully this uh, lecture video uh, should uh, clear up any, um, any discrepancies that you may have. All right. So you know where to find me. Stay safe and wash your hands.